I'm used to slamming those things. That was really easy. I'm your host, Jason Morgan. We are at the TMC show in New Orleans. We're checking in with the Volvo crew uh, to talk about safety and connectivity. The all new VNL packed with safety features. We're gonna figure out and dive into how they're packaging those to get the fleets the safety they need. And then we're gonna dive into the connectivity to see how they're wrapping that into service to keep trucks productive. So come along, let's see what we can learn. Okay, so Shiny, hey, uh, Hi. new Volvo VNL, very yes. exciting. Let's dive into some of the safety features because there's a lot going on here, right? Yes. So with uh, advanced driver assistance systems, uh, there are a lot, and it can be confusing, right? Lane keep versus lane departure versus adaptive cruise and all this stuff. How are you bundling these to make these more approachable and making sure that I get the right safety, you know, if I'm a fleet, get the right safety features in my truck? That's an excellent question, Jason, because I know there, there's a lot of good things in the truck, but yes, it can be confusing. Um, so basically, you can think that we are separating our packages in VEDA, Volvo Active Safe Driver Assist for our drivers, um, and VEDA Plus. So in VEDA, we are providing our customers with a forward collision warning, right? Forward collision mitigation. Okay. Comes with the warning, audible, visual. It comes with the automatic emergency braking. But this is technologies we already know, right? So what we are adding on top of that with this first package is pedestrian detection and by cyclist detection. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's very interesting. Uh, help our drivers on the urban areas where it's more crowded and, you know, we are all human beings. Right. Hard to pay attention on everything that's going on in, in an area like that. Right. Well, and when we've talked about this before in the past, kind of across the industry, um, it's challenging detecting a person or detecting a bike, right? I'm get, are you put, is this radar? Is it camera? Is it both? So it's basically for the pedestrian detection, we're talking about the camera. Okay. So the camera is smart and is actually detecting the pattern. Oh, interesting. Exactly. And that's how we, we can play on this. Interesting. Okay. Yes. So, and then to go back to it real quick, the Volvo Advanced Driver System Systems, the VEDA, that's the standard package, right? Then the VEDA Plus is on top of that if I want to go even further. Correct. So VEDA comes in every every truck, oh, wow. every new Volvo VNL. And then VEDA Plus is, let's say we're building on top of VEDA and adding even more features, even more safety in the truck. And the first thing I can talk about is side detection. Oh, okay. So we now have radars on both sides and we improved uh, the system by now being a proprietary system, right? Okay. So we have more freedom and the detection range is way, way improved. So it's detecting from the front of the cab Okay. up to the back of the trailer. Okay. And also adding pedestrian detection on the side. So the side radars are capable of pedestrian detection as well. Okay, so, and coming forward, that's why you say side detection, right? It's not just blind spot behind you. Not just a blind spot, the correct. Interesting. And with our VEDA Plus package, we also add uh, VDS, the Volvo Dynamic Steering, with, oh, which yeah. we know Love very well, correct. Easy to steer, yep. takes the, the amount of force uh, that the driver needs to apply. But on top of that, oversteering guidance. So this is a new feature to help our drivers when they are going into turns mm -hmm. and then maybe they oversteer. Mm -hmm. The system is smart, can read that and can bring the driver back, avoiding, oh. preventing a rollover. Okay, yeah, yeah. very cool. Well, and I mean, as a, as a new driver myself, I appreciate that feature, right? <laughs> right. Well, yes. and I have been, I've been to the Volvo Center where we had the, I did the steering demo we have a clip. I did the steering demo at the Volvo Customer Center. Uh, check it out. And then I'll do a, a countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Put your left steers in the bit. Just kind of veer into it? Veer into it. Okay. We can barely see now the... Yep. You can the bike is just real, real condition. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Got that. Now, three, two, one, into the bit. Back out. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was us. That's the beauty about VEDA, right? Being, uh, being the system that's so smart and can read what the driver is inputting and in all everything that's coming from the sensors and being able to help the driver in crosswinds, in situations where they need a quick steering. I don't want to go overdo that. Right. And with VEDA Plus, it's very important to mention that I can't forget to mention that pilot assist. Yeah. So pilot assist is a combination of adaptive cruise control, keep you in a certain speed, keep you in a certain distance from the vehicle in front of you, plus keep you centered. Um, so almost like, I don't like to say it because that the driver, the truck's driving itself oh, because yeah, we always want the driver in control, but it almost drives itself. Right. 
and then it's really keeping you lane. And if you go a little bit out, drifting, uh, you get a little nudge, like this, this very soft, subtle nudge yeah. on the steering wheel bringing you back. Yeah, well, and to your point, the driver's still very much controlled. You get in some of those high crosswinds, right? It's You can feel it. You just kind of get pushed over, right? But now here, it just maintains right there. It will right. bring you right back into the center. That's right. Okay, one other feature I did want to talk about here that was very cool, uh, e-call. Yes. E-call feature. Tell me what this is and how it works. So in an event of an airbag deployment or a rollover accident, the truck will place a call to 911 emergency services automatically. And it will also send the position of the truck to the emergency services. So help can get to the driver super fast. And on top of that, we also offer an option. Uh, drivers can also get a switch on the dash when they can initiate the call by themselves. Let's say in a case of driver impaired or, or anything like that, any help, any support the driver needs can initiate the call. It will get 911 emergency services helping them. Very cool. Very cool. Well, I mean, love all the new safety procedures. I know it's been a big uh, uh, component of Volvo products pretty much since the beginning. Yes. Seeing uh, very cool how you're thinking of the next level. Yeah. Uh, glad to hear. Uh, and I'm very glad to explain more about the truck to you. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. So uh, you have the all new VNL, which is the most connected Volvo truck ever made by Volvo, which I, I appreciate that bullet point, right? right? Uh, you have, you've mentioned that 24% reduction in unplanned stops because of the connectivity. Can you tell me, how are, how are you doing that? What's different about the new Volvo VNL and the data you're pulling off that versus maybe some of the earlier or the, the models that came before? Yeah. So when we look at that, we're looking at keeping software updated to the truck. Okay. We're seeing that software is becoming a little bit, whether we like it or not, it almost becomes a maintenance item, right? Yeah. So ensuring that we have updated software, we don't generate false positives. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's a little bit of that, ensuring that we optimize drive line and, and so forth. So really ensuring we have that piece. But then also not just around software download, it's also about uh, our remote diagnostic service uh, through more accurately diagnosing the truck remotely. We have some additional capabilities pinpointing through this you know, distributed electrical system. We okay. can be even more accurate and we can reduce um, yeah, false positives and, and pinpoint issues and also defer issues, right, to later so we don't have to take a truck out of service. Okay. Then we can leverage that and then put those type of items in during a normal scheduled maintenance. Right. Take advantage of that. Preventive. Exactly. Uh, yes. That could be uh, taken care of then. So that kind of leads then, how does this really work into the whole service support ecosystem as you look at all new VNL rolling onto the road, support and service is a big component of that. There's the uptime center as well. How are you pulling all these components together to keep it working productively? So the first thing that we're trying to do is, of course, to ensure that our new, all new VNL fits into the current ecosystem, right? So we're protecting some of the complexity to our customers by still uh, delivering through the normal channels that we have. So that's, that's number one. And then number two is um, just building on the existing uh, services that we have. Right. So if you think about the legacy, if I call it that, VNL, right. its end point is this new truck's starting point, oh, sure. right? So we're ensuring that we have, uh, we call them Friday, Monday capabilities to start with that. But now we can build from this, right? So the lowest level here is the highest that you were able to achieve prior to. Oh, and then we're going to build, right? Then there's a lot of things that we're still going to learn about this truck. We're going to work with our customers to understand that there are some additional things that we can extract from this vehicle. Right. And then, but we want to make sure that it generates customer value, right? There's a lot of data that's coming off this truck. But at the end of the day, we want to turn that into customer value. Right and something that they can see as an advantage uh, to their operation. Right, well, and building, you have the blue service contracts as yeah. well, uh, which can support the customers there and taking that, some of that responsibility of service there. I mean, you just build on that foundation uh, into the future as well. Yeah, absolutely. And then of course, on top of, of, of having that foundation through now, uh, increased service intervals. We can extend vehicle operation, right? So there's a lot of improvements in just the normal maintenance aspect of it. And then of course, leveraging our connected vehicle platform to, to feed that and then ensuring that the truck is optimized and we can 
uh, extract the most out of the truck before between uh, service intervals. Right. Yeah. Very cool. One quick question too, because I yep. know this has the 24 yep. volt system. Does that play in though? What data you're able to capture? The fidelity or maybe resolution of that? Yeah, absolutely. So, so not only does it do that, but we also have a distributed uh, electrical architecture on the vehicle. Okay. So we have shorter. Um, you know, harnesses, we have more distributed ECUs across the truck so we can pinpoint and more accurately diagnose the vehicle uh, both in a workshop and also remotely. So it's more accurate and more, yeah, you can say higher fidelity of the data right. that comes off the truck. Okay, great. Well, hey, thank you for digging through. Yeah. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely.